Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Shiva Akram, gynecologist. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic of ectopic pregnancy. And it's actually defined as a pregnancy which because of any reason stays other than the uterus. Normal pregnancy always stays in the uterine cavity until and unless it is delivered. While ectopic pregnancy stays at places other than the uterus like it can be in the tube. It can be in the ovary, it can be in the abdomen, it can be in the cervix. The most frequent place where this ectopic pregnancy usually is found is called the fallopian tube and its incidence is 97%. In my own clinical practice, whatever cases of ectopic pregnancy I have seen and dealt with were in the fallopian tube. Even the fallopian tube has four parts. It has an interstitial part, it has an ampulla, it has an isthmus and a, a fimbriated end. The most frequent site of the fallopian tube where this ectopic pregnancy stays is the ampulla where incidence is 55%. If we talk about the overall incidence of ectopic pregnancy, among 1000 cases, one case can be of this ectopic pregnancy. So ratio is 1 in 1000. Now we would like to discuss what are the causes of this ectopic pregnancy. The most frequent cause is pelvic inflammatory disease, uh, mostly due to chlamydia trichomatis. And secondly, advanced age, there could be IUCD insertion, which is responsible for this incidence of ectopic pregnancy. And the previous history of ectopic pregnancy is also very important. Then there are certain assisted methods of reproduction like ICSI, IUI, IVF. They can also be the cause of an ectopic pregnancy. Then there are certain sexually transmitted diseases which could be responsible for this ectopic pregnancy. So this, was, this much was about the causes. Now, what uh, are the methods to diagnose it in time? Uh, first and foremost thing which is very important is to get the ultrasound scan as soon as possible. First to confirm the pregnancy and second to locate it where it is. And if you uh, diagnose ectopic uh, pregnancy well in time, you can manage it before it gets ruptured and turn into an emergency. There are certain uh, cases, in, even in the last week I did two cases. Uh, of ectopic pregnancy uh, in which one case came after rupture and one patient came before rupture. So um, in both cases we did the laparotomy and we in one case the tube was spared and in the other case tube was badly damaged so we have to remove the tube. Behind me I can show you the pictures. Here you can see this is the fallopian tube and in this there is ectopic pregnancy and I did the, uh, you know, I gave a cut here in the ampullary region and removed this pregnancy and the tube was spared. But here, uh, the tube was ruptured and badly damaged, so we have to remove the whole tube. And we also know, I uh, want to know that uh, how does it looks in the ultrasound scan and how can we diagnose it. In ultrasound scan, uh, this is the picture. Of the ectopic pregnancy we can very clearly see it and we can rightly diagnose it and we confirm it uh, by a diagnosis from the radiologist okay once diagnosed uh, we also uh, like to know that the hormonal changes in ectopic pregnancy are quite different as compared to normal pregnancy because the levels of hcg progesterone estrogen are always high in a normal pregnancy while in an ectopic pregnancy these levels are on the lower side so once the diagnosis is established what we do there are medical management and there are surgical management if the uh, pregnancy is unruptured and it's diagnosed very early and the patient doesn't agree for a surgical procedure we can use some medicines like uh, methotrexate prostaglandin desinflurane but mainly the mainstay of management when this um, ectopic pregnancy gets ruptured and there is an emergency or it's on the about to rupture the most uh, suitable option is definitely laparotomy and what we do uh, we can do either the salpingostomy 
in which cut is given in ampulla, pregnancy is removed and after that that tube can be repaired. And then the um, conception is in the isthmus and in that case we do a resection and anastomosis. And in that case, the tubes can or the tube can also be saved. But if the uh, you know ectopic pregnancy has ruptured and the tube is badly damaged, you can do nothing but to remove the tube, and that is self injecting has to be done to save the life of the patient along with the rest of the management. So the take home lesson is this: whenever some female gets pregnant. It's very important to get an ultrasound scan as soon as possible, not just to confirm the pregnancy and to see its normalcy, but to confirm the site of the pregnancy, which is very important. And once it's diagnosed as an ectopic, we should do its management as early as possible. Thank you.